Hey YouTube, it's David, Richter Scale Studios, uh, here with part two. I have the base coats, oh, probably 85% done on o, uh, Admiral Oga Kurganova from uh, Raging Hero series. The Kurganova uh, Sisters uh, limited edition pack I bought with the three sisters and a bulldog mascot. Um, these are very basic um, base coats. I put on probably three or four coats of the uh, Stonewall Gray. And those are going to be um, highlighted one up and going down two colors. So it'll be significantly darker with the coat. And we're losing focus on this thing. Hold on one second. There we go. And then I um, use some scrupulous brown for the golds on the epaulets. And then um, some like a blood, like a blood red. It's gonna go. The blood red's gonna go significantly down too to a black red from uh, maybe a black red, or I might do a green and uh, tone it down to almost a brown for the um, shadows on the red. And then her hair right now is a uh, gang color, heavy ochre, with a secret weapons uh, sepia wash, and that's gonna be highlighted up significantly. Uh, from there to almost like a platinum looking blonde to like an elven skin probably highlight from uh, Vallejo game color and then um, spin her around uh, Blood red and that'll be um, Taken down that's the highlight color of all the reds that'll be taken down to a darker color into all the uh, uh, Crevices and folds in the leather. I believe that's what I'm making that looking like leather uh, the boots are going to be a patent leather, so they'll have a shine to them. Probably after I hit it with a uh, dull coat, I'm going to go in and brush those with a gloss coat. And the leather on the front of those, the uh, leather pads on her uh, thigh-high boots, or hip-high boots, let's say. Um, the inside of the coat is white, and that's going to be uh, taken down with the uh, Reaper Master Series Bone Triad. Be a warm gray will be into those folds. Her skin is Reaper Rosy Flesh, and so I have a rosy highlight and a rosy um, shadow for that. And with those three colors, you mix them with each other. I believe it turns out to be uh, five separate uh, colors to work with. So we'll be doing some um, blending and layering with those. And then, uh, like I said, Scoofless Brown, like our epaulets, and then on the uh, her hat, um, skull on the hat. Kind of this uh, base coat of the uh, cigarette white, that'll be changing to probably a little bit of grays in there. And maybe put a little uh, uh, swing up again. Let's see if I can get this on that cigarette. We'll get like make it look like it's glowing on the end. And I've seen her done with an eye patch, but if you really get in there, it looks like there's like a um, a string or a chain going down the back side of it. So I think that might be a monocle, and I might just have to make that look like a polarized monocle, something cool. I don't want to make a big giant goofy eye in it. That looks stupid. And I haven't worked on her uh, sidearm yet, and that's right there. And I haven't worked on the scabbard. And the base is still kind of milling around in my head, but obviously uh, I don't have to worry about that yet. She's uh, on a couple alligator clips on a uh, cork and uh, epoxy. I kind of uh, rigged this together. It's working pretty well for me to paint with. So uh, I'll leave that at uh, part two. Um, we'll see you in the next part. If you have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions, I really like those on her. And uh, we will see you in the uh, next part. Let's get her kind of cleared up so you can see her once again. Remember those that white and that gray is going to get significantly darker. I just like how her outfit pops underneath. Um, and yeah, any suggestions, please. See you in the next one.